Another great reading program is this program called Read and Write. And what this program does, this is a program that it's essentially just a toolbar. So a stu any student with a learning disability could use this with any Windows applica based application. So for example, if they wanted to, they could use a Word document and use this as a proofreading tool for the Word document. And the reason why I say it's a proofreading tool is because if you look at it, you have a spell checker, you have various different options. Um, there is the spell checker, there is a word prediction. So word prediction is as you start typing, it's going to guess what the next word is going to be. It has a dictionary, something called a word wizard, which is just another way of using a thesaurus. Uh, checks for homonyms, and it will even read back to you what you've written. And it has some other features, but for the proofing tools for writing, those are the, the main ones. Now I'm going to open up a Microsoft Word document. I'm going to have read and write. Use it. So I highlight the text that I want. And I hit the read button. Two reading procedures of a graduate student with learning disabilities. An efficiency study. I can also, as I'm looking, so I say procedures. So I want to use a different word. If I go to this word wizard, I've got different options for procedures. I can have every feature read to me. One. Procedure process. A particular course of action intended to achieve results. The procedure of obtaining a driver's license. It was a process of trial and error. Two. Operation. Procedure. A process or series of acts, especially of a practical or mechanical nature involved in a particular form of work. The operations in building a house, certain machine tool operations. Okay, so that's the form of procedure that I was using. So I'm going to go next. Okay, words relating to procedure, phrases which contain procedure. So I'm going to go words relating to. And I've got work, wash, job, um, operation, operation procedure, service. So you see, it's a great tool if I'm somewhat familiar with the word. I, you know, I can tip my tongue. I can't really think of the word, but I can think of something similar to it. I can use this to find the word. So that's a couple things. Also, if I do a spell checker on this, Okay, so wrote a little sentence there. I want to correct the spelling. I select the sentence. I go up here to the spell checker, and I intentionally misspelled checker with an sh because I want to show that this program knows that s and c sometimes make the same sound. So you'll notice the first option is the correct checker. A lot of spell checkers would just start looking for words to begin with s or s. SH and not realize that it could be a CH. Also, it gives me definitions of each of the choices of the word, so I know that's the one I'm looking for. It can also read back to me the list. Checker. So, spell check completed. A lot of common mistakes with students with learning disabilities is they'll see where that kind of looks similar to the one they're looking for and they will choose the wrong one.